Katie is joining me as our lines become three-dimensional as we make a playhouse for dolls or action figures. This is such a cute idea, Candy. I'm so excited. Let me show what you need to make it. So you're going to need a large styrofoam block, some foam cord, and this is a bifold. You'll actually need three of these, some decorative scrapbook paper, duct tape, glue spots, um, some adhesive that will adhere your paper to your foam core, a knife, maybe some paint pens, a ruler, and a pencil, and I think we're ready to roll. So the first thing we're going to do is cover your, or cut our piece down to 12, a 12 inch square. And to do that, I've already marked 12 inch uh, spots down three points of the block, and then you're gonna line up your ruler, and then I'm actually gonna use a plastic knife to score some lines. And if you just do this a few times, kind of noisy. <laughs> and then you should be able to just take it to the edge and then voila, Ta -da. snapped. Okay, and then we're just gonna set our piece of paper on top and seal the edge with some duct tape. And this is really cool because it makes your um, surface, for this is gonna make the yard of your, that was a close one. <laughs> sure was, almost got away from me. Oh, almost got away from me. So then this is cool because it's gonna seal up the edge of the foam and make the yard for our dollhouse. That's a good idea, it helps make it durable too. Right. Yeah, we can make a boat out of this thing before long. Okay, so then just roll that tape over and then you would repeat for the three other sides and you'll have something like this. Perfect. Okay, so are you gonna show us how to make the walls? Sure, so then what you'll do is take a bifold piece of foam board and this is going to make two of the walls. So using your foam glue, foam board glue, then you'll just squeeze some glue onto the board like this. And I'm going to do this all over the board. And that way, right along the edge even, and then filling in a little bit across. And I'm going to be careful to get some more along the edge there so that it really sticks down. Perfect. Okay, then I'm going to set that aside and place the paper over the top. And right here, you just want to be sure that you don't get it too close. You want it close, but not too close to the fold so that when your walls fold close. and close, yeah. yeah, you have it there. And then you'll trim this edge off. And you'll do that also on a third piece so that when you put them together, that will make your three yes. walls. Yes, and that's going to be the wallpaper for our room. And I love how you could change the theme of your dollhouse just by changing the papers out. That's right. Or you could even use the same technique inside a box. That's right. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is actually create the roof. So to do, um, this is a solar panel roof. and It's a green home. There you so go. So we're going to cover that third bifold um, board in foil. And to do that, you're just gonna lay a piece of foil. I went ahead and crumpled it and then spread it out, smooth it out. And probably wanna open this up a little bit. And then just fold the edges over. And you could trim them down if you want. And then we would just do that for the opposite side. And then I'm gonna show you one that I've already started because that's super easy. We can move, use that one. Okay. Okay. So this one, um, I've already started. You can see I just sealed up those raggedy foil edges with skinny purple duct tape. And so to do that, oops, I have fumble fingers with this tape, sticky fingers. Okay, and then just smooth that out. And just like we did the yard piece, you're gonna fold it around and that gives you a really slick edge. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I like. It you looks really nice and clean. Yes, it does. And I like the idea of your green home, too. Why, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so now let's pull our whole piece back in and add that second um, level. Okay. So to add the second level, I have some glue um, spots, and we're just going to use these. You could cut them in half, or you can keep them as is, but you're just going to touch them to the end of the piece. And you're probably noticing that this is a little bit more square than when we started. Do you wanna um, show everybody how we did that part? Yeah, so this is a piece of the board that we cut 
in half, so this used to be a, the folding board. And then you ask an adult also to cut this using a craft knife so that it's square so that it will fit inside for your second story. Perfect. And so I'm going to tack this in place. Katie, I might need some extra set of hands. Does that look straight? I think it looks pretty straight. And then we're gonna add two more on either side at the front corners. And pull the paper away. And we're gonna do that over here. These things are sticky. Sure are, they'll okay. hold your dollhouse together. That's right, and now, hopefully everything's all straight. I can't see the <laughs> side, I see that one. Okay. Looks pretty and good. And you can kind of smush it into place, but then you wanna just press forward and get everything straightened up. And so then, if you look at our finished one, we lined the inside with more skinny duct tape. And then we're going to finish by putting the roof on top. And to do that, we're going to need some more glue spots. Where'd they go? Here they are. And this is just not to, to hold it in place for... Um, Permanently? Yeah, we're just gonna tack it in. But then um, it kind of holds it in place while you seal up the sides with the... More tape. Yeah, because the outside of our house is kind of boring looking right now compared to the inside, I think. We need some stripes. Yeah, I'm ready when you are. You wanna pick some colors? Okay, let's start out with this turquoise color. I'll turn it. Do you wanna start at my side? I'll hold it down while you wrap the house. Sounds good. Perfect. So we'll just start at the bottom, right? Okay. <laughs> I guess I have to let go with this hand. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. And then wrap it around the outside. Yep. And you can also see here, we've taped the extra board onto the side. Let's turn this around. I'll grab this tape on this side. There we go. Yeah. And then we're gonna just trim the ends. And then we'll, do you wanna pick a second color? Sure. And then any place that your stripes aren't exactly perfect, you could come back with a pattern tape or you could use the skinny tape and just cover up the crack. Right. So basically we would just keep covering the whole entire thing with duct tape. And then to finish it off, we used, we used paint pens to decorate our yard. Yeah, so you can draw some grass here or you can use paint pens to write on the outside of the house. You can draw windows, you could do a door. You can draw all kinds of things on this tape because the paint pens write on the waterproof. It's tape. great. And then the cool thing about this piece is this is actually detachable. So you could make a ton of different houses for the same yard or whatever you want. What a great idea. Very versatile. It's going to be a fun little town.